Well, many people turned to religion to help them cope in the days after the 9-11 attacks, and some even chose new faiths, including Islam. That may be no surprise, since a quarter of the estimated 6 million Muslims in the United States are converts. Delia Gallagher looks at two people who chose that path. Shadu. Yes, Shadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammad. Muhammad. Alison Poole says this phrase three times in Arabic. Shadu. And then in English. Yes, no God. My God. My God. Am I bear witness? Can I bear witness? It's Muhammad. That Muhammad? It's the messenger of God. It's the messenger of God. And her conversion ceremony is complete. She's now a Muslim. Moments later, she'll marry Sammy and become Alison El Gamal. But Allison, who was raised a Southern Baptist in North Carolina, says faith, not marriage, made her want to become a Muslim. I think for a long time I've been looking for something. I've, there, there's been like a piece missing. Always one little thing that maybe wasn't right. At a ceremony marking the Muslim holy month of Ramadan, she explained why Islam appeals to her. I think because it's much more about peace. I'm praying five times a day. It's kind of hard to go out and say bad things or do bad things when you're praying five times a day. I have to believe. The imam who married Allison says he's seen more American converts recently, in part because of the prominence of Islam in the news. You know, it may sound paradoxical, but what happens is that when something becomes more in the news, people tend to want to know about it. Allison says she was already on a spiritual quest when she began to hear a lot about Islam post 9-11. Barbara Cardebuke, another recent Muslim convert, says 9-11 also played a part in her conversion. After 9-11, I thought this is the time when people really have to start looking for real answers. To get away from everybody fighting back and war, you have to start looking towards God. Barbara says through Islam, she found a one-on-one -on -one relationship with God she was unable to find as a Roman Catholic. I always felt when you go to church, you're praying for Jesus or you're doing Hail Marys. You, you know, I used to think, well, where's God? She says her family has been mostly supportive of her conversion. Allison says her family is completely behind her decision, but occasionally she's reminded that not everyone is. I was walking around down near the World Trade Center, and this woman walked by, and she said, I want to just go bomb those Muslim bastards. And I heard her say it, and it just, it really struck me. Because I was like, you know what, you know, that, that's me. You know, this is something that's, that's brought me a peace that I've never known. And, and it's still so misunderstood. It's a choice she's proud of and says she'll keep for life. Delia Gallagher, CNN.